Hey, how are you guys doing? So I wanted to do a video here on Blue Apron, but before I do, if you guys find this video enjoyable um, or you think that there's a better way that I can make these videos for you guys, leave a like, leave a comment, and just let me know. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive on in here to Blue Apron. This is going to be ticker symbol APRN. Currently up on the screen, I have the a 20 day hourly chart kind of gives you an idea of how Blue Apron has been trading as of recent. Uh, and you can see here over the past, I would really say just two weeks, um, we have seen a colossal spike here in Blue Apron stock price. And that is due to the global circumstances. Um, a lot of people are not going out, uh, even to grocery stores. Uh, some people are ordering out from restaurants. Um, they're just doing like curbside pickup uh, or there is another option is that you just order all of the ingredients from your food for your meal um, from a company like Blue Apron and that is the thought process and I'm sure a lot of sales have been made over the past month or so uh, but that is the idea behind this Blue Apron momentum filled run that took this thing from two dollars a share all the way up here to stink in uh 29 a share over an 800 percent gain over the course of just a few days but what happened it retraced it all back and we have lost a vast majority of all of the volume and now we are sitting here at 11 a share we actually closed below 11 a share around 10.60 um, but before we look here at this shorter term time frame to look at some levels, I do want to point out the long term trend of Blue Apron. So uh, if it comes up on the screen here for me, Blue Apron IPO'd back in the summer of 2017. This was a, a um, pretty hyped up stock even back then. IPO'd around $10 a share, made it all the way up to $16.50 a share. Uh, but it did have, or some, somewhere around there, um, but it did have a 1 to 15 split. So for every 15 shares was then turned into one share, and it basically inflates the stock price uh, on this chart. But nonetheless, what is the trend of this stock? It's down. This thing just continues to deteriorate lower and lower. So what are the odds that now this quick influx of new buyers is going to now provide this brand new start to this company? It, it is, it's been around for a period of time now. It's been trading for almost three years now. And I think that at some point they would have if they were going to um, turn into a pretty profitable business um, that, that was going to see growth in the future, that that would have happened along the way. But even in the last quarter of 2019, it was still posting losses while its competitors like HelloFresh, um, a new and emerging company, uh, well, newer um, and emerging company here in this market is consistently bringing in new customers, and they also have a stock. Uh, it's on the OTC markets, uh, but it is consistently growing over the past six months. So to me, uh, this is not something that I would see as being a switch to where now Blue Apron has turned it around, and they are now going to start this growth period up to the upside. Is it possible? Absolutely. They're probably bringing in a lot more new customers, um, but at the same time, will they retain those customers as this global uh, quarantine basically uh, starts to fade out? So that'll also be um, you know, an unknown in this situation. But to me, just looking at this company and uh, knowing that it consistently sees losses, this is not something that I would see as being a big game changer for it, but just a momentous filled uh, move to the upside. So with that being said, here on the hourly chart, just some levels to look at quickly. Uh, actually, you know what? We're going to go into the 15, then we'll look at those uh, more, uh, I guess, farther out levels, if you will. So uh, the, the the main levels that I'm looking at here are a big support down at 960, and then our bigger resistance being up here in the lower 13s, around $13.20 a share. And just looking back over the past couple of days of trading, we can see we are down here 
We actually broke down below 960 down here around 930, but then when we opened up on Thursday, we saw a nice little bounce and then a rally to the upside. And you can also see from previous days trading, this would be last Friday and then into Monday, um, that this also acted as a support. So 960 is my lower level. Uh, if we break down through that, I think we do start to see it uh, continue to slide downward, but we'll get into that later. Um, from where we currently sit, I do think that right in here around the nine or excuse me, the 1080 mark as being a support. Um, and I know we did trade down through it uh, at the close, but then we did follow back through um, in the aftermarket hours. That's going to be something that we want to look at a little bit closer come the pre-market hours on Monday. But I do think that that is a uh, pretty important um, support zone, at least in the shorter time, uh, the shorter time frame, which again, we're only looking at the span of about 20 days for this entire move from $2 up to 29 and now back down to 11. Uh, so here on the one minute time frame, you can kind of get a better picture of that 1080 level. You can see here on Thursday act as a brief ceiling before we pop through in the later afternoon. Uh, we actually dipped down and touched it ever so quickly and then friday morning we opened up right here around 1080 after following this this pre-market sell-off and then as we moved down throughout the remainder of the day we bounced off of it briefly bounced off of it bounced off of it broke down and then again post-market uh, or after hours we, we did push it up a little bit but i think it is something that we might need to look at come monday pre-market uh, another resistance here on the shorter term time frame is up here at about $12.20 a share. Uh, and you can kind of get that idea from Thursday's trading. Uh, we did have a brief momentous filled swing to the upside, but then uh, it pulled back down a little bit. And again, you know, I don't like to look at these tops. Um, I like to look down at more the base level of it, um, where it retraces back down to and then pushes up and sees the ceiling. Um, usually the momentum is a little bit of a tail. Uh, and I don't really like to consider that. So down here around 1220, and you can see here um, at the beginning stages of the day and then towards the, the afternoon hours, we saw that act as a resistance before falling back down. But we're going to go ahead and swing it back to the hourly chart, and I'll look at some, some more... Uh, some some farther out levels that this could potentially hit to the downside as well as to the upside if this ever decides to show up on my screen okay there we go all right so down here to the downside i'm looking at about seven dollars and fifteen cents and that was really the ceiling that we saw after a couple days of this thing pumping up and then to the upside right around here around 16 70 um, but to me, as we see this volume kind of fizzle out and we start to see this price set, um, you know, lower highs, we are going to see it break down below this 200-day uh, moving average on the hourly and then start to set lower lows. Um, so to me, it's only a matter of time before we're down here at $7.40 a share, and then we'll probably end up back down at $2 a share. So you know that that's just my opinion if you see value in this stock um and you're willing to take on the risk for this trade then go for it um you know i think it is very good to experience these trades if it's good or it's bad i could be totally wrong and miss out on a big gain back up here to say 25 dollars a share and miss out on a hundred percent gainer but to me the risk is just too great to take on this trade but again if you see a setup that you like and you see value in this company then i mean go for it that's the only way that you're really going to learn so um you know i hope you guys enjoyed this video again if you want to leave a like or comment on how you think i can make this video better for you guys just let me know so again thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you in the next one